grow up so fast. Very, very fast. It's yes, like so all of a sudden friendly. your kids are fine. Yeah. To me, it's just be yourself. Do what you think is best, you know, for yourself and your family. Uh, one of um, the good things about staying with my mother-in-law, I think that's the best part, because every night you have soup. Welcome moms to the Connected Moms Club Mommy Talk. I'm Belinda Chi, your host for today. Now here at Mommy Talk, we will be discussing topics affecting Malaysian moms. And for our first ever episode today, we'll be talking about working moms that shift from being a working woman to becoming a working mom. Now, as we all know, as mothers, we have that difficult choice of choosing between our careers and our family, especially after we have our first child. And joining me today to talk about this topic, we have four incredible moms. We have Chiok, Sharifa, Chui Ling, and also Manisha, who will be sharing with us their different journeys into becoming successful working moms. Hello, moms, and welcome to the first ever episode of Mommy Talk. How Hello, are all of you. you doing today? Great. Yeah. Great. Okay, Okay, now we're going to talk about being successful working moms that you all are. How was your first day back at work after giving birth? This transition is always difficult, but uh, we'll just have to embrace it and move on. The break was the, the initiative to becoming a stay-at-home mom, which I needed to get out of the house from all the craziness of being all by myself and everything. So, you know, getting back to work, it was a breath of fresh air. Well, that break, to be honest, is my first and only break ever since I started <laughs> You mean work. your maternity leave was your yeah. first and only break? For so break. many years, I've never taken a, a real break. But it's always good, you know, to have your little time, you retreat in your own world. But uh, it's also very important for you to reconnect back to the outside world. I think work is the best way, the fastest way. It was good uh, to have that break, like Chiling said, you know, um, going back to work, giving us some space. Because I guess when you go back home and you see them, you get more excited. Otherwise, you'll be seeing them and, you know, after a while, they, do, they can get to you, you know? So, yeah, I think, I think um, as much as it was difficult, I think it was also good for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, now, ladies, we've actually prepared a whiteboard and markers for you to answer this next question that I have for you. And what I need you ladies to do is just write a one-word answer for this next question about what was the most stressful thing about going back to work. Three, two, one, show me your boards. All right. Now for you, Shaifa, is separation anxiety. <laughs> for oh, you. Because, because your kids are okay being away yeah. from you, but you're not. <laughs> my children are so independent. It's like, I don't even let my kids sleep on their own bed yet. They sleep with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you are so attached to yes, your children. Yes, I am, I am. But I think that is good for them in the long run. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I mean, I want that relationship. I want to have that, you know, us not just being mothers and daughters, but it's best friends as well. How about you, Trilling? Did you already have a support system planned out before you decided to go yes. back to work? Yes. Like, sir. what is going to happen with mm -hmm. your boys mm -hmm. after you go back to work? Yeah. Even during my pregnancy, I have two reliable teams to keep the things running. So uh, I'm basically quite hassle-free. Uh, likewise, going back to work, the business and everything is ongoing. So to me, uh, it's all about teamwork and I'm really thankful to have two reliable teams. Uh, when I got back, everything is the same. Do you think women, mothers especially, get enough facilities or uh, leeway to be away from work maybe for a couple of hours to go pick their child up from school. Especially when uh, the authorities are encouraging women workforce, female yeah. workforce mm. back into the market, I think that you know, that we have it's to pay more attention yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, to make them more convenient and confident to go back to work. They're starting it in malls already, you know, the, the nursing rooms and uh -huh. all that kind of thing. I think in the office, especially when you have toddlers and stuff like that, I mean, I think even daycare centers would be great in like in, in, in the, the office, UK, in yeah. western in the countries they have yeah. a lot of daycare, daycare centers in, in offices office. yeah. 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 
So it would be great to have daycare yeah. at work. And also in Malaysia, there are so many SMEs, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think these companies can be more flexible to female workers. Okay, now we know that you are all successful working moms now, but have you ever considered the alternative of being a stay-at-home mom? Um, being a stay-at-home mom, I mean, it's fun. I mean, you're, 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 you're able to watch the development of your child. You know, you see every single stepping stone that they do, their first word, their first, you know, their first bump in the head. And, you know, they, they're like, I, I taught my kids, uh, my oldest, to, to cycle, you know, on two wheels, and it's fun. You know, but it's a, it's a tough job being a stay-at-home mom. It really is. How about you, Manisha? I mean, after the second, third, fourth, oh, fifth <laughs> child, have you ever considered maybe this is the time for me to just stay at home and take care of my children? Yeah, of course, of course, all the time. It's not just about about, about what you want. Mm. It's whether by doing that are you giving your best. In my opinion, you know, there's no right or wrong to it. It's just that how you manage things. I mean, sometimes you feel like being at home with them, you can give more. If I'm staying at home, I could do more, but I think I'll be busy as well because I'll be doing chores and other yeah. stuff. So I think at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's how you want it. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not what the society wants you to be. You know, there's no right or wrong. I don't think we should judge people. I respect fully women who stays at home and take care of their children. I, Truly salute, salute them. Now that we've spoken about balancing the responsibilities between being a mother and a career, uh, now let's talk about you as mothers and your well-being. As, as a working mother, timing-wise, you know, I'll just grab some um, instant noodles. Yeah, instant yeah. noodles. So ultimately, it's about discipline. Mm -hmm. And you know that you have to eat nutritious, nutritious food and take care of yourself so that you can take care of uh, your child. the child as well. Yeah. Uh, one of um, the good things about staying with my mother-in-law, I think that's the best part, because every night you have soup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chinese soup. So home cooked. Oh, home cooked is definitely the best. Yeah, I drink dinner and then I pack some in the morning and then take it back with me to the studio. Yeah, so that's a, a little trick. So we've spoken about being uh, juggling the responsibilities of being a working mom uh, and also a full uh, stay-at-home mom and also nutrition that you have to keep yourself healthy so that you can live healthy and live long to see your children grow. So and what? Be mother -in -law. <laughs> and a grandma. And be a mother-in-law and a grandma. Yeah. Now, what was the best advice that was given to you? I know you said don't listen to all the moms out there. Sometimes you know you have to know yourself and not whatnot. But what do you think is the best advice that you've gotten? Uh, since your start of this motherhood journey? For me, I remember one of my friends telling me, Chok, done is better than perfect. So you don't need to do everything 100%. You have already done it to the best of your ability. You don't feel guilty about it. And that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. yeah? Don't beat up yourself because you can't do this and this and this during the day, even though you plan it out. Yeah. Uh, just go with the flow. How about you, Manisha? What's the best advice that you've been given? Don't let others judge you or you feel like, no, you're not being good enough. Because of course, at times you do feel, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. when I look at other people and you see my kids screaming and I say, oh, what do you, where did I go wrong? <laughs> you, know? you can hear my voice, you know. Um, if I'm in a, in a mall, you can hear me screaming and calling, oh, don't do that. And then you see another family, it's like the kids are all, you know, well behaved. Wow, well behaved. Walking so relaxed. Cool hands. Yeah, and then where did I Not go? Not running wrong? around crazy. <laughs> oh my but god, I, I wish that was my child. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess when I look back, you know, and I thought to myself, no, I think I did. All right. Mm -hmm. They're good children. To me, it's just be yourself. Do what you think is best, you know, for mm -hmm. yourself and your family. Yeah. It's always good to take advices um, from especially your parents because they've been there. Mm -hmm. where Women who have maternal instinct, we always want to do only the best for our children. Yeah. What yeah. would you say to all of the moms out there who chose either to be a working mom or to be a stay-at-home mom? We ready, ladies? Ready. ready. One, two, three. Show me your answers. Keep it up. You're doing the best already and no one can fault you for that. Because ultimately, people can always say, oh, the grass is greener on the other side, right? When you're either on this side or the other. But to me, it's really depending on where you are and making the best out of the situation that you are in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. Now, Sharifa, you said you know what is best for you and your family. Um, yeah, mum knows best. I mean, people can say as much as they want to say. I mean, when I first had my kids, and you always have these people telling mm. you, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Yeah, and I'm like, sure. shut up, you know? <laughs> but I kind of felt that I was kind of doing the same thing as well. 
telling people, oh, like, you know, you should, you should do it like this, like that, like this, like that. And I realized I'm becoming one of those mothers that I didn't like. Mm. You can take advice, take little bits and pieces, but it, it all depends, it all goes down to what you decide. Mm. So you know what's best. Okay. How about you, Trilling? Only moms, moms have motherly instinct, instinct to nurture, nurture our, kids. our kids. Treasure it. Kids are gifts to me, you know. Uh, my encounter, because uh, it, it took me quite long yes. to have my boys. Mm -hmm. So I think it's gifts, it's very, very, very special gifts. And motherly instinct is also a gift. You know? From up above. Yeah, from yeah. up there above. Yeah. So we should treasure it and um, it's all meant to be. And these make us to be a much better person. So we should enjoy it and it's a blessing. They grow up so fast. Yeah, they grow up so fast. It's yeah. like all of a sudden yeah. your kids are five yeah, and yeah. setting fire to dustbins. <laughs> <and laughs> I'm, uh, I'm waiting for that actually. Yeah, I can't wait for that too. Why you can't wait for your kid to set fire yeah, to your rubbish bin? I, mean, I, I want my, my, my boy to quickly grow up in a sense. Because right now with um, him at home, we always just have to focus at home. And if he's a bit more mobile, then we can bring him out. You know, we like to go for holidays and all those stuff. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Thank you so much, ladies. And thank you to all you moms out there for joining us this episode. Now, for more support throughout your mommyhood journey, please click on the link. And do watch out for our next episode. In the meantime, please feel free to explore Connected Moms Club for more mommy support.